don't know, big crowd. <laughs> Pretty ladies. Um, well, uh, is a, a, a decent uh, way to start. Uh, I thought we had uh, good effort and competitiveness all the way through. I thought the guys were ready to play, excited to play. Um, you know, I thought we got contributions from all three phases um, and had a lot of young players out there playing, you know, and, um, you know, they, there's some mistakes that we saw that we'll have to fix and correct. But uh, certainly uh, guys stepped up and made some plays today, and that was good to see. Took care of the ball, created a few turnovers, were able to capitalize on some of that stuff and generally played, for the most part, penalty free. So, um, you know, got off to a decent start in that regard, and um, hopefully we can build on it. <clears throat> Josh, uh, going all the way back to the spring, uh, you guys have emphasized getting pressure on the quarterback, getting the ball, um, get, getting hands on the ball, being better in the red zone. You guys got checked off all those boxes today, including two turnovers in the red zone that you cash in for touchdowns. Um, how pleased are you to see that some of what you guys have been stressing, you know, carried over not only in practice, which we've seen all that, but into this actual game? Yeah, I mean, that's what we've been trying to work on it for, as you mentioned. And I thought we actually had more opportunities. We got our hands on more footballs than what we ended up coming up with, um, which, again, until you start getting close, you know, it's hard to create them. So um, I thought the defense was, you know, really connected, you know, tonight for the most part and tried to make the windows as tight as they could. And uh, we were punching and stripping at the ball a little bit. So, um, you know, that, that's the way we want to play. And that's how we want to, you know, force the offense to, you know, drive the ball and, and do it that way. Didn't give up a bunch of big plays, you know, which always gives you more opportunities. So. Um, no, it's, you know, good complimentary football. Anytime you can turn it over and then turn those turnovers into points and be on a short field, um, that's helpful. <clears throat> I know that you're always going to look at the negative and just kind of take that approach, but you've preached this team has to learn to be consistent. Good mini camps, good OTAs, good practices, good joints, carried over into a game you didn't even game plan for. It was just about you. Mm -hmm. Are you able – even though it is preseason, Josh, to appreciate the fact that they are showing you what you've craved from day one, which is consistency? Yeah, I, I think we I think we see a lot. Uh, I mean, the schematic part of the game and, and obviously a number of players on both sides didn't play in the game. So um, that part is what it is. But I think there's a lot that be, can be gained, you know, aside from that. You know, our operation tonight, you know, our substitutions, our the effort we played with. I thought we ran to the football on defense. I thought we covered, you know, with some physicality in the kicking game. Um, I thought we started the game running the ball decent. You know, they were a tough team to run it against, and we made some chunk plays. And so, I mean, I think they understand uh, the way we feel about playing and how we see winning. And I think you could see that on the sideline. I felt it on the sideline from a number of the guys that weren't playing uh, just how locked into the situations they were, what the call was. There was a lot of conversations being had about, you know, you know, the call and the situation defensively or, you know, what they were seeing on the field. So um, that's all you can ask for. You know, we have a, a group that I think is, uh, again, being led the right way by the leaders in the locker room. And, you know, we're practicing the way we want to practice and hopefully we'll continue to try to improve. Uh, Josh, just to uh, drill a little uh, deeper on the uh, defensive side of the ball, I was just wondering. I realize it's a you know it's a preseason opener, but <clears throat> were you able to detect some clues on defense that you feel that this is a year that things are turned around 180 degrees on defense in terms of that limiting be, yardage, limiting yeah, yardage. that would be impossible for me for, for me to say today. Um, you know, look, we're I think every player that plays on defense and every coach in our organization. Uh, that's working on that side of the ball is just doing everything they can every day to try to improve and get better. Um, you know, started that started that process started as soon as the season ended, and um, you know we're, where where it will ultimately lead to, I don't know. Um, but I like our our effort. I think our attitude every day is the right uh, the right type of attitude if you want to improve and get better. And um, you know, and and again, you see you know you see some some results from some of the younger guys. That's a good thing to see early and. Again, I'm sure that there's going to be plenty of mistakes that we we can correct tomorrow. Josh, uh, kind of an extended day for Aiden. Uh, got a chance to start a game, run a two minute offense, come back after halftime. Um, you know, making adjustments in the third quarter. Was that sort of the plan to just expose him to as much as you possibly could today? Yeah, I mean, you know, Brian and, and Jimmy really got a lot of work uh, this week, and I, I mentioned a number of times we were trying to kind of you know, look at it in three days here, and so. Uh, this was really kind of the vision, you know, that I had, you know, try to get 
those guys a lot of work in practice. Um, you know, against some guys that probably weren't going to play on their side of the ball also in the in the in the game, and then. Um, you know, let Aiden have an opportunity to experience this for the first time. Uh, there was a lot of firsts today for him, you know. So, um, you know, his first play call, first, you know, feeling pressure in the pocket, first two-minute drive, first half time, you know, all those things. So, um, you know, I thought he generally handled himself well for the first opportunity. Um, you know, he's going to learn a lot from some of the things that we might have been able to um, you know, do a little bit better that would have helped us maybe sustain a few drives, but that's that's why he was in there. So, um, you know, he just he's a sponge. He he soaks it all in, and um, he'll take every opportunity to improve. Looking ahead to next week and going down to Southern California for joints with the Rams, what are you looking for different from your team, maybe from the joints with the 49ers, especially against a team maybe that, that's going to give you some different looks than you had this week? Yeah, I think much the same in terms of the work. Um, you know, the, the competition, um, the structure, you know, I think, you know, we'll, we'll get, we'll get tested in every phase, uh, for two straight days, you know, with a, um, you know, a, a really good team that's well coached, got a lot of really good players. So this will be a great opportunity for us to, you know, uh, get challenged in a different way. Um, some of their strengths might be a little bit different than San Francisco's. The scheme is, uh, definitively different on both sides. And so, um, that was kind of what we uh, what we thought about, you know, relative to, you know, putting these things together and, and how, how we could benefit. So um, there's going to be a lot of work that we uh, put in here in the next 48 hours to get ourselves ready to go for Wednesday. And, um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to this opportunity for our team. <clears throat> Any questions from the back? The little girl.